Hi everybody, Lisa here. I just had a paint fail, so I have a freshly scraped 10 by 10 canvas and I have a bunch of leftover paint that I don't want to waste, so I've decided I'm going to do a flip cup and maybe I can have some success this time. So all the colors will be listed in the description. There's quite a few in here, probably seven or eight colors. So let's get started and see what we come up with. All of my colors have silicone in them except the white. So I'll just let that sit there another moment. Lots of pretty colors. Looks pretty pastel. I see some cells forming. The cup came out really pretty. I don't think you can see it. I wish you could, but not enough light coming into it. Oh, there's a shot of it. It's funny how sometimes the cup is far prettier than your finished piece. Okay, let's torch this. Got some cool looking cells in there. I kind of made my own little tree ring pour there. Let's keep swirling it, see what we come up with. Kind of cool, kind of different. It's definitely looking cool. Looks kind of like a storm on the Weather Channel. <laughs> this is totally not what I had intended when I did the flip cup. It's funny how some of the time these things morph into the coolest looking pieces. It went from looking like a flip cup, to looking like a tree ring pour, to looking like a cool swirl. I'm actually really digging this. I didn't really have any high hopes when I first started. A couple more swirls and then I'm going to stop. Wow, that's actually super cool. I love these cells on the side here. And these right here has like a galaxy effect right there. Check to make sure it's covered all around. Wow, I'm really liking this one. I hope it dries cool like this too. It's awesome. So I want to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell and stay tuned for close-ups. I'll see you next time. Bye.